Thank you very much. So now we're going to discuss uh, subjects at crossing finance and um, Bitcoin uh, um, fundamentals. So it's, I'm speaking about how is mining an alpha on Bitcoin. What do I mean by this? Actually, we see a lot of uh, articles which say that the production cost of a Bitcoin by the miners could constitute, could be a um, floor to the market price. And this size is um, inspired in comparison with reality. Because in the reality, with the traditional commodities, you have uh, two sort of commodities, but um, in common, they have that if the, the market price falls under the production cost, then minus or plus the stock available in the market, the production stop and the resource is being increasingly scarce. So in a, at, at some moment, the market price will go up because of the scarcity of this resource. And more, uh, moreover, you have uh, two kinds of, uh, of uh, resources, renewable, like, uh, I don't know, sheep, meat, oak, wheat, or everything that you can uh, renewable. And then the production cost is going to be uh, steady, moreover, one year on, uh, on, on, on one year. <laughs> one year on one year, it would not specifically go higher or go lower. And in non-renewable resources, like gold, by example, you will have the scarcity plaguing as an um, increase, natural, natural increase of the production cost. So the price of gold uh, is meant to grow steadily because uh, the resource is going scarce in the earth. Okay, so all that is wrong with Bitcoin. <laughs> Everything to say that. Because you have a mechanism called the difficulty and we're going to speak about that. But remember that... Uh, oh, even, remember that... Um, Bitcoin is, um, is the only commodity, commodity in the cryptocurrency sphere. And it's the CFTC, Rustin Benham, which, who says that. Because Bitcoin is the most decentralized uh, everything we have. And so it can be compared to a commodity. It's unique. And uh, there is reason for that, because uh, the, the Bitcoin is meant to replace gold, and gold have a specific um, characteristic. So it's a commodity. So naturally, uh, some people think that production costs would be a floor. But it's not the case, and it's a reverse situation. The market price, the Bitcoin protocol, is designed for the market price to drive the production cost. Why? Because when prices are going up, then more miners are uh, incentive to come because there's money to make. And the miners will um, produce block at a faster pace than 10 minutes, uh, maybe 9 minutes, 8 minutes. And the protocol of Bitcoin, with design, we say, to be a clock, will, go, will take the difficulty and goes it up in order to fall back the time of producing a block of 10 minutes. And then, by the difficulty adjustment, it makes the problem to solve more difficult, so miners have to put more resources and more time on it. And then, production cost rises. So, it's uh, market driven, it's not, uh, and for the same things, when the price going down, it become um, more difficult for miner to produce a block each 10 minutes because you have less and less competitors who are shutting down the miners. So there's less hash rate power on the network and then maybe a block uh, is meant to be produced uh, 11, 12, 13 minutes. And then the difficulty will adjust to be more comfortable to help the miners. 
Why am I saying all that? Because the point, <laughs> what does it, what do you, what do you, why do you care? Um, in fact, to understand the mining industry, you have to understand that the market is giving a premium for the miners, player, in order to do industry activity. It's not uh, speculating on market, which is uh, fair easy in comparison to mining when you have to mine in, uh, in Congo, uh, in Kenya, or in Salvador or Paraguay. You have to buy machines, you have to transport them, you have to negotiate contract. You have, it's, it's, it's real fat industries. So you get a premium. So when you invest in mining, you hope to buy Bitcoin cheaper than the market. And that is, that is great. <laughs> That's why we are working with uh, Sebastian Guspillou and, uh, and in a, of a company, CleanSat Mining, which will allow um, every, uh, every customer every, on the retail market to buy for like, uh, I don't know, 50 bucks of mining, but reporting in the world, and it will be securities. And what's the point for Africa? The mining market is fundamentally going to um, be concentrated on extra capacities and green energy. Because if you're not green, as then you are fossil. And if you are fossil, you will be uh, hunted by the reglementation about the CO2. And where do you find extra capacities on, on dam, on um, microgrids? You find it in developing countries, especially in Africa, because when you build a dam, uh, it's a really, really big investment, and you can't build it by, uh, <laughs> by step. You have to build the dam entirely, completely. So maybe the 10, 20, or 30 first years, you will have 20, 30, 40 percent of the, of the power of the dam, which will be unused, <laughs> literally unused. So in the Virunga case, by example, um, the park is able to sell this extra capacity, which it can't value as a, in, a, in another way. And it's the, the mining of Bitcoin <clears throat> is going to put money in the park and in, uh, in developing countries. That's really important because there is, it's, the, um, <laughs> it's the place where the electricity is also cheapest. And we said that the market is going to select the miners by the price. So when the price goes down, who shutting down the machine first? The one in USA, in Europe, because they have higher price on electricity, and also they are in concurrence of the grid with uh, the, the, the retails, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, <laughs> Doe and Mrs. and Mrs. Doe. We are uh, using electricity to watch TV. So Africa has a really incentive to put its resources unexploited, waiting for uh, to be exploited by when the network is developing, on mining. So um, Africa is really a chain for beacon mining because it's a it's a place, a, almost a unique place to develop the mining, to develop the decentralized mining industry. Thank you very much.